Hello everyone and welcome to Factoria. I'm Par and uh, today I'm gonna be playing my Sibla game. Let's see. In the previous episode, yeah, I remember we got really, really confused by uh, the lack of silicon here. Thought it's silver, but no, it's silicon. This is silver. We have lots of silver in the base. So we started um, yellow researches. So we have a uh, yellow. What is our research here? Yellow research is happening. Getting researched. That's good. And uh, we also started producing. Well, we fixed. We finally figured out what was the problem with the speed modules here. And look at that. We are producing speed modules and they are retrieved and uh, no, delivered somewhere. So I figured out what was the problem. It was a prioritization issue of red circuits between blue circuits and speed modules. And in the previous episode, we also built. Um, this block producing a lot of iron ingots it doesn't look like it's working now but it actually is working <laughs> so it should be fine now let's think i would like to completely redo this part let's say we'll remove it and uh, I will try to build something facing. Well, actually, no, let's just drop it there for now. We'll figure that part out later. Let's start with this block. We would like to get. We would like to get some charcoal produced. Just oh look at this. This is nice. Uh no, that's not nice. Let's cut that. It's not exactly how I wanted to look. I wanted to leave exactly one space. Um yeah, between the beacons and I actually have a tiny problem, we'll have to disconnect them. I think yeah. Or, you know, we don't have to disconnect this. We can just move this part further away. Yeah, this is better. So this way the connection will not be established in the first place. Good. Now, with this done, what I would like to do, I would like to copy this block and kind of paste it. How should we do that? Uh, I feel this might be the best spot. It might look strange, but like approximately here might be the best spot. Right, we'll have to. Um, we will have to eat those with charcoal from here. This part can be completely removed, more or less. And uh, this block. Do we want to use? Do want to use loaders or should we use inserters? I think having inserters is in general a better idea, but I, I, I'm not sure how much space we'll, see, we'll have. Let's see, I'm trying to build steel here. And for steel, what exactly do we need? We need 640 or I, I, I'm not going to be able to do that. Let's say we are going with uh, 300. 
what are the ratios here? 32, 20, so if you have exactly the same, okay, we we'll already have 32, okay, if you go for 20, right, we basically need 4. Let's add maybe some lights somewhere. How should we do it? Set one here and one here. Just make it look a bit nicer. Because, um, right here, the goal is to have 20 beacons, and we do have 20 beacons. And we have 22 beacons actually. So that is enough. The problem, okay, if we tell this, that we have 20 beacons. We need four of this, that is okay. If you tell this part, that we need 20 beacons. How many would we need? We need four as well. So this is really good. This is really good. But what that means, it means that... I like we have a problem. I feel like we have to remove these two beacons. But if we remove these two beacons... What will be left? We have 20. And strictly speaking, that's exactly how many we need. You know what? Let's try. Let's try... To do it like this. This might be... This might be a bit tricky. We'll do. So we have one input going from below. One output, one one thing going from above. This one. Wait. How can we? I'm really really confused. If we are feeding this from that side, from below, how can we flip the belts here? What if we dragged it from this side here? Then drag stuff here. Add a splitter and send things um, here to that to that side or to that side. But even place the things completely symmetrically here. What if I had such kind of build here, then right? I think I think we figured it out. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty tricky. But, okay, good news. Good news is that we have a way to feed uh, 
this stone, blast furnaces with limestone, and we also have a, a charcoal coming. Like here, and, and, and here, which is really, really good. Because what this allows us to do, it allows us to build this. Uh, right, let, uh, should, should we choose another? So I actually could raise him. I'm not sure about this one. Is there anything better? Robotics might actually be better. You know what? Yeah, let's let's go for this one and advanced logistics, construction, robotics. That's very expensive. Research. Metallurgy. Um, some random researches. I'm, I'm not sure whether we actually need those. So, here, the thing about this is that we could try to set this thing up in a way. Um, let it go to aluminium. And we grab this inserters. So we have this inserted. We could have four of them here, and we could have, okay, not this one, one, two, three, I guess three of them here. Um, this inserter in the middle, I mean, potentially we could add something there as well, but I think what we have here would already be enough, to be honest. Right. Is this correct? No. We need to cut this and flip them like this. So seven inserters. I think I think that's a lot. Right? Now we could um, drag this thing further out there. We could uh, also something like this. Now I can copy this part, flip it vertically, and paste it like this. Is this gonna work? Let's see. One, two, three. Yes. Looks like um, we have lots of inserters here now. We will need to change this to be all about um, tier 1 speed modules. What's, what's the name of the station above? The names are wrong. I would like the names to be this. Let's copy this, paste them. The names are about iron ingots and we'd like to change them to be about steel ingots. Okay, steel ingots, we're getting limestone here. Good, should we actually request the limestone, like for real? I... I, I think so. Right? Let's get some uh, limestone for real. This is not a provider, this is a requester. And uh, we would like limestone uh, 200 as usual. And let's request them. So we'll get some limestone from here. Here we have only one output. That is great. Let's do like, We don't need more than that. Now, we need a tiny, well, first of all, we need to surround it with a lot, and I mean a lot of beacons, that's something like this. So we'll have lots of uh, beacons. Oh, this is not good. Can we do anything about this? I think we can. That we could uh, 
put this thing a little bit lower and this one a little bit higher. This should allow us to have a, a little bit better. Um, hmm. How many beacons do we have around? Let's see. So this to touch this part, this to also touch. 29. Okay, good. We wanted to have uh, 20, right? So if you have something like this instead, this is gonna be enough. Let's see. I have 23. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That is completely fine. It also means that we can connect uh, with oxygen kind of in between them. It, it might be it might be not like the best idea. We'll have to see, we'll have to see, but uh, it, it could, could work fine for us. Let's, let's just wait. Let's wait. We are trying to get 300 steel ingots. It means that one of each, each of these blocks is gonna produce each of these blocks is gonna produce exactly one belt of steel ingots. This, let's say, this is the main output. Now the main question is, how do we place this part? Can you flip it? Uh, horizontally, yes, we can do that. Okay, that is um, suddenly became much more interesting. Let's um, let's see. So let, let's say we don't want any input to be delivered to the site. Let's just say we are not interested in that. We want stuff to be delivered only to that side. Now, we will need here. See, we will need to if we have the belts coming like this. Delivering things here. Mm. Right. Let's try to move this somehow. But how? How should we move this? Let's see. This one could go up. This one could go up. This one, I feel like, would have to go up as well, which might not be ideal, to be honest. Right, let, let's just cut this thing, and... Uh, if we pasted it here, Like this. We have a lot of space, I feel. Let me. I don't think this. Right. Let, let's let's do it. Let's cut this again from here. So we're cutting this thing away. And I would like to build it. Right here, and now I'm flipping it horizontally. And we'll try to build exactly the same thing on the other side, just like that. Now we could cut this part. Oh no, not cut, copy. <laughs> of course, we are copying it, we are not cutting it. 
and paste it here. So I, I want to duplicate the setup. So why I'm doing things like this. Yeah, we need some space for the water. And here we'll have the main output. With the output uh, provider. This is the output. And I probably would like to add this block to let the chains turn around. Like this. So the chains can turn around now. Uh, this thing we need to finish building the, re the reactor there. This part. Uh, we also need the reactor here. Let's build it. This one is working. Everything's working fine. There. Well, yeah, here is the question. Why am I building it like this? I think I am building it just because I want it to be you know, completely symmetrical. Right? I think I think that's it. That is it. I just want... I, I just like symmetry. Uh, this part we could drag. The belts. Right here, if we wanted to. Let's say we do want to do that, so let's uh, drag these belts here. How are we gonna fix this part? Let's, let's see. We could... Little things here, we could... Uh, swap it to the opposite. Direction. We are sending stuff here to there, and we are uh, bringing all of this like that. Okay. Okay. This is one input, and here we'll have um, another input. I don't feel like it really matters how exactly uh, we are connecting the inputs. The important part is that we, we just need the stuff to be connected somewhat and uh, yeah, that's basically enough. This is limestone, if I'm mistaken. Um, limestone. We are just kind of like this. Uh, Send in limestone on this side. From below uh, we have a tiny problem. How many? I guess we have 26. Right, so let's, let's remove this. <laughs> let's remove this and uh, add uh, something like that. Be good. Water, water, water. We need water from this side. Water, water, water. Good. Now, what do we have? Let's see. We have this input. We are basically delivering stuff to the side, just like that. <laughs> it's 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 funny. I don't know. I'm just I'm just finding this uh, very very funny. The the way I'm gonna drag the belts. Yeah. Right, let's say one, two, three, four. This one's going here. About the pair of bells. Oh 
I don't know. It's... I, I find it super funny. Like, such, such the top. Oh. Oh no. It's a problem. Well... Could we do it differently? Yeah, let's let's do it slightly differently. Let's say that yeah, that output will go here. But this one it's gonna come from here. So we'll drag two belts right here. This will be our first belt. This will be our second belt. So this is the output. Uh, one problem that we have is that, well, we obviously need, like, one issue is that we need to give it oxygen and which we could actually build on this side, now think about it. And the, and the second issue that we have, let's uh, Let's copy this from somewhere. I could have copied, for example, from here maybe. Right. And and the second issue. I forgot. I forgot what was the second issue, but I didn't like something. I did not like all oh, right, the um, charcoal. The charcoal. We need to give this thing charcoal. And we could give it from here. Take it from here and drop it over there. Yep. We could also do exactly the same thing here, right? No, from here. We don't have iron pellets. Why is that? Oh, I see. Makes sense. We need to set proper filter. We want to this or oh, and this two. So we're getting proper inputs now. At least that's that's good. Um, this one will go here. This one will go there. Might need to change this part a little bit. Because um, what I didn't do, we didn't uh, figure out. Oh, much! Didn't figure out the part producing oxygen. Oh, 80. No, that's too much. Uh, let's say we have I don't know, like 30. We can surround. Then we need only four. Means that we are actually fine with having a less. We can surround 26. Okay, 24. 25, I think. 26 is the number. Yeah, 26. And then, if you wanted to have four of this, uh, how many do we need to have? Like maybe 12? Because it would be enough. Yeah, 12 are definitely enough. I think we, like, even 8 might be enough. What we're trying to get, yes. So let's try and build this thing. We have this part that is gonna produce an oxygen. We are uh, doing something like this, and we'll need to clarify all of that with the clarifier. That is one clarifier gonna be enough. Is one clarifier gonna be enough? I'm not sure. I think I'll be able to figure it out. Right. Let's see. Uh, Trying to build some kind of beacon setup. I like this. So what? Um, did we get with this 
with such setup. We have 38 beacons, and here we are going for 26. So we overbuilt it kind of on the beacons. That is good. So we have a lot of beacons. Now the question is how many beacons we have around this. We needed no, we, we needed eight. And we have uh, one. Well, we basically have eight at, at least eight just from here. So now, if I copy this and paste it here, we have two connections. One is going directly here, and another. It's not exactly going there. Hmm. Let's delete this part. Let's do it like this. Okay, let's see. So if I drag this part a little bit above and add a beacon here. And then, if we copy this whole thing and drag it somewhere down here, is this looking good or not? See. Okay. We have. Oh, nice. Look at that. Just look at this. I like this. I think this is perfect. This is perfect. Where is. Our oh, power. Mm. Right, let's see, we'll have connection here, here, connection here, and here. Is this the way? I, I, I feel, I feel that's the way. This, this line even covers uh, this flash stack a little bit. So if I copied it, turned it around, and connected it from this side, I, I feel like it should work perfectly here. Maybe maybe we'll connect it from above. Maybe that is the way. Right, like this. So we have this thing going here. This one will be turned around and we will connect it from the side. So I think this is it. Now we need a little bit more lights. Here, let's add them. Say, like um, this. And we'll add the same lights on this side. Oh, something pretty similar. Right. This one. We are just saying stuff over there. This connection um let's let's see. Would like to do this. Right, this is something that This is in the way. Let's move it down by one. Yep, nice. And uh, here I would like to turn it in that direction so that it's right here, like this. Good. Place the thing here and connect this. Wow, we did it. We did it. <laughs> I can believe. I can believe. It's done. Right, these are ingots, but not these ingots. These are actually still ingots. I'll put all those. And uh, this is the second. Up here, that's uh, oh, the second station. 
higher priority. Well, I, I guess another provider, lower priority one. That's probably a, a more correct way of saying this. Let's see, are we missing anything? Alright, we are missing this part, for sure. We would like it to drop stuff here. And we'd like it to pick stuff up from there. We are copying it, flipping it vertically, pasting it here. Now, we want to do the same thing here. We would like it to work here, and then and vertically, and for it to be here. Oh, look at that! We are getting some steel. And uh, we somehow got 100,000 um, iron ingots. Look at this. 100,000. We just got them. Wow. Right, we don't have one ingots. I completely forgot about this stuff. Sorry about that. Uh, we wanted to be placing this thing on that side and uh, on this side. I wanted to be growing that part. Let's see, what are we missing? We are again back to missing beacons. But at least um, the number of uh, missing blue circuits, no, not blue circuits, uh, tier 1 speed models is not that high. Okay, look at this. Okay, this is uh, fine. We knew about that block, but this one, it seems to be working. Um, I probably... Oh no. Oh no, no problem. We run out of um, speed modules. This is bad. We don't have tier 1 speed modules anymore. And I don't think I'll be able to just grab them from here, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I can just like, grab them. Well, we do have 26 here. That's not a lot. And here, we are trying. Uh, I thought, I thought I had a chest here. Right, I can try the chest. Nice. We have this chest that we could use just to drop things off, and then they will be delivered somewhere. Right, let's uh, take a look at this part. We are missing a little bit of cratinium. Uh, is this block given us cratinium? Yes. We are getting some cratinium, but we still, like, we want to have way more. Actually, we seem to be having some delivery cratinium. So, we want lots of cratinium. Everything, crash cratinium specifically, everything else seems to be fine. We are also shot on red circuits, which is uh, not really a surprise. We knew that. Uh, this stuff, I'm not sure whether anything here really matters. <laughs> we have a lot of this thing. We do not have solder. Right, so we still have a problem with solder. And uh, we want to build it here. Can I remove this block? Or not. So first of all, I think we can safely remove this one and this one. We're not using it for anything. This part got sent over there. That is good. Uh, I think we're removing it, removing all of that. Good. This block not doing anything. Not doing. I mean, we might as well remove this since they are not doing anything useful at this point. Gun. Some gun. 
Now I feel like we should stop producing. Like I, I feel like we have to stop the two blocks. And I don't like that. Because it will leave us only with one copy of this. It's gonna leave us only with one copy. And we can actually turn off reprocessing here. Let's do this. We want to get rid of the station, so I am turning this one off. We can actually remove this whole thing. Right, we are gonna remove it. Well, it's, it's basically just gone. And let's um, stop this processes. I think it's time. I feel like it is time to stop this. Oh, this one, yeah, it will have to be moved. This one, the output. We can actually... We can move it from this line to this line. Would be a good idea. I, I I don't I don't think we have a choice. So this is the provider station. Uh, how do we, you know what? No. We don't want to do it like this. I'm just gonna copy this part pretty much exactly as is. And we are gonna paste it right here. Um, right, we have uh, some differences here in the setup. How can we uh, address that? I think we can just cut this part. Move it there. Like this. This could be it. Now, this is our input inputs, I should say, and uh, we basically have, let's see, one going here, one, oh, maybe one going from here, like this, one going like this, and one, oh, going like this. This are the three inputs. This no. Let's see. Um. Oh. You know, I would even switch them a little bit. I would say that. I would say the top one is the one that wants to end up in the middle. Right, so I want to end up here. The middle one. The middle one is the one that wants to end up the last one, and the brown one, the one that is going to be down here, it, it wants to end up here. So I would say. We can. Okay, it's definitely not a requester. We can say that private priority is 1000 stack threshold. I don't know, it's like 4. We can completely remove this whole thing. Copy it and just drag it down here. Like this. And uh, the name of the station, yes, the names are correct. Everything is correct. This is turned on, this is provider. It's honestly looking good. Oh, we can actually make it even a little bit nicer by removing this part, maybe this one as well. This one. Oh no. Oh no. Like this. I 
think it looks fine now. Oh. Wait. Is this running out of power? I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, runs of power, but we don't want that to happen actually. Right, let's get back and check what is happening with... Uh, uh, well, first of all, let's finish this part, and this one. Let's finish clearing. Oh, we are not clearing these blocks. What? Oh, no. I started clearing this one without doing the same thing with this block. Okay, we, we got to change this. We got to remove this ones. Do we still have inputs? We do have inputs. And here. What is happening? This is output. That's okay. This input, we don't want it to have anything anymore. This is output, that's okay. This one, it's input. We don't want anything to be here. We are like removing this gels block. This is output, can't do anything about this. Um, this one, we'll have to figure this uh, out later. This input, we don't want anything going here this input. We don't want anything going here. The outputs have variability. Right threshold, 100. It's not quite enough. Right, but at, at least we cleared this part. The thing is... With everything happening here, I okay. it's not request anything. This is not request anything. I I want to say I would say that we want to clear this one out as well. And how are we gonna do that? Uh, we probably would like to go there and disconnect the pump. Right, I want to disconnect the pump so that all crushed store, uh, not, not this part, maybe the part on the left here. I'd like all crushed stone This is uh, uh, nice. I'd like all crushed stone to be reprocessed. I'd like to rem remove this. Right, I'd like to remove this part. And this one. And this one, right? This basically gets rid of all this crushed stone, which is good. Here we still have crushed stone. Um, I mean, what can we even do here? I think we just need to select all of that and mark it for deletion. Because I, I, I don't see what else we could do about that. And maybe we should upgrade this uh, rubber parts, just in case. So, now, next step. It, it's, it's this block. The, the two blocks um, on that side that we're clearing. The last one, actually, we don't really need to do anything there except uh, like dealing with this output for the gels. So that's that's not a huge problem. We can can always you know, fix those things a little bit. Or we could just remove. We could just remove that. Let's see. 
what do we want to do here? I would like to pretty much the same for this uh, house. The problem is that we are getting gels and uh, right, but we will not uh, get any more gels here. That's good. So this part will process the gels and it will be done. This part is gonna process the gels and it will be done. Uh, here we are not doing anything. Here it should stop working soonish. Now one thing that I would like I would like to copy this and paste it here. So we're basically changing priorities of the output. I'd like to paste it here. And uh, I would like to paste those here. So we have three outputs. Good. And we prioritized grabbing things from, from there. I would also like to do the same thing here, right? We want to prioritize um, and things here. Request. I don't want right. uh, this one. Why does it say enable request? This is stuff here. Does it look? Enable provider, enable request. We don't want to enable request. Okay, we basically just want to export all of that stuff as, as soon as we can. So we are exporting. We are, we are not no longer importing anything from here. Might as well delete that, I think. Remove this. We are not importing anything from here, so we just remove it. We are wasting time. Probably. I, I am probably wasting that. Um right, and let's tell the bots that we would really love if they build stuff here and here. Well so do it like that. Okay. Okay. Something is definitely happening here. Let's uh, paste the thing here, paste it here, and paste it here, and we'll paste it here. We should clear this area from the biters so that we can finally build some, you know, rails, uh, rail depot, depots over there. Good. This is good. Let's think what is happening. Right, we are requesting all this crushed stone that we have no idea what to use it on, to be honest. A 40,000 crushed stone? How can we use it? Right, we have this crusher. Oh. Why don't we add the usage over there. Or you know that's okay. We can we can figure it out later for sure. I probably just want for now to do the following. For now I probably would like to have a warehouse somewhere here. So at the edge you know, maybe like a couple of warehouses and uh, I would like to add a requester chest here, well, in the middle between them. I will tell this requester chest that we really, really want to get crushed stone here and uh, yeah, we are just gonna get a bunch of crushed stone. And, and we'll place it in the warehouses. 
not just anywhere, but right in, in, in the warehouses. Uh, we also have lots of landfill that we are not really using for anything right now, but it, it's okay. We will start using this landfill. We have 1.9 million of landfill. And, and, um, we could start using it right now, but our construction bots are kind of busy. It's fine. It is fine. Let's just think what we could do in the next episode. What would be a reasonable thing to do in the next episode? I think we could try to produce copper, but I'm I'm trying to avoid that because the problem with copper with tier three copper production and for that matter tier three um, Manganese production is that they require a lot, a lot of sulfuric acid. And uh, as it stands right now, I don't, I don't feel like uh, our sulfuric acid production is in a good shape. I mean, we do have some sulfuric acid and we do have some sulfuric acid. So I guess it is okay. You know, maybe we could try to build copper first to start consuming a lot of sulfur on that. And then we'll see how it goes. Right, then we'll see how it goes and whether we need to uh, wait before I'm doing again. Because I, I never, I didn't calculate it, but I feel that this process, wastewater uh, and purification, uh, is enough to handle just copper. I don't know. It's it's not enough to handle copper and manganese. Have a look. Is it actually manganese? Let's double check. Manganese. This thing requires manganese cathodes. Yeah, and this stuff requires sulfuric acid. Wow, I, I had no idea that we are using iron. All oh, right, it's, it's just a thing, um, like a, a catalyst thing. It, it will be circling around, kind of similar, like uh, lead is used, I think, in sync process, if I'm not mistaken. I I don't actually remember that, uh, for sure. Let's see, I would like this one to be set to one from now on, and I probably would like the same thing to be done here. Yes. Good. I think something is happening and our EPS are not in the best shape. That is okay. It's okay, what am I missing here? Am I missing, am I missing efficiency? Or oh, oh, what's, what's the name of these modules? Efficiency modules, yeah. I'm missing those. I'm not even sure whether I should keep them here, to be honest. We could just, you know, just go and clear the thing. Yeah, why do we have efficiency models then? I don't think it's a good idea. Could replace all of this. Oh no. What? Wait, what, ha what happened? Alerts. There was no cargo or something. I completely missed what happened. Like there was a bad, bad train arrived somewhere and didn't do what it was supposed to do. It's too slow. Unscheduled cargo, missing cargo. Missing cargo, I mean, do we care? Turn pulp, turn pulp.
like some stuff is wrong here, but let's say whatever, it's fine. It's fine, we don't care about that enough. Okay, good. So, looks like in the next episode we'll be focusing on the copper ingots. How many copper ingots do I need? Let's see. I need... Uh, what? Two point eight thousand of copper ingots. Is this for real? It's three times more than what we are building for aluminium over here. Wait. 2.8 thousand. I, I, I think we have a problem because one block here can generate eight, like we can load eight belts into one of the stations. So basically one line here. I think it's reasonable to assume that we will be getting just one station of ingots, which is uh, 8 belts, that's 600. And if you have 2.8, 2800 divided by 600, okay, divided by 2 because we have two halves. We have this half and this half. Oh, you know, it's actually not that bad, it's 2.3. So that means that if I have something like this for copper, build here onto lines and then let's say we build it there onto lines as well and then on half a line here which will kind of reuse for manganese it, it should be fine and by the way we slightly underbuilt our steel because we have under 300 steel in produce but we are actually interested oh Missing power. Yeah. Um, very interesting. Right. Now it should work. What I was saying. Uh, right, we're building on the 300 still, but uh, according to my calculations, we need 320 still ingots. But, you know, I, I feel like it doesn't matter. Like, if we're actually able to provide four full belts of steel without interruptions, <laughs> that's gonna be great. That by itself already is gonna be huge. We are not quite um, at that stage. <laughs> we are very, very far from that stage. Let's be honest. We are super far away from that. Right. Yeah. This part is producing manganese and we are not consuming manganese and we will soon be experiencing shortages of we will soon be experiencing shortages of uh, of iron ingots. Right, that's okay, we just need to start consuming manganese here and consuming it for aluminium. Oh look at that! We have the space now. We have the space for, well, almost. Pretty much have the space for aluminium shit coils. Right, let's uh, place this. So we have aluminium shit coils here. Here, I think I decided that we will have solder coils, which might seem a bit strange, but we'll need them in huge quantities, especially for circuits for modules. Let me check again. Um, right, so circuits, they will be using a lot of plastic, a ton of plastic. That's the largest plastic uh, consumption in similar the circuits. And uh, Oh, wait. Who is using 
solder. Oh, circuits are not using that much solder. There isn't a lot of copper wire coil, which we'll have to produce at some point somewhere. So we'll have to figure that part out. Right, but that's kind of a separate topic. Oh, that's surprising. So solder... It's needed for modules, it's needed for circuits. And we need a lot of it, but not like really, really very, very... Well, we do need high amounts, but not like super high amounts. Uh, what's happening here? Is this looking good? I think so. Uh, we still... Our construction robots are still busy. So we are not gonna be doing anything. It's honestly... Maybe we shouldn't even bother with that. This might be better. Did they ask them to upgrade? Yes, I think we tried to upgrade. Anyway, that's fine. Maybe it's not fine. Not. <laughs> Let's uh, have the robots finish getting all of these things since it's outside of. Uh, Logistic network, I, I feel like that's gonna be easier. Okay, good. Um, let's move here. In today's episode, we built this block, uh, producing steel. We are experiencing some um, problems with um, the lack of uh, oxygen. Well, one half of the build, actually, not anymore. And now, suddenly, we should start oh I never connected this part no we have to connect it as well to do it something like this liquid because we probably have to this or not Like that, like that. Okay, I think we are done now. Now it got to work correctly, right? I think so. So let's assume that uh, this uh, second half of the build works now. Yeah, I would like to think that it works. Okay, great. So in today's episode, we built. Uh, production of, like we started producing steel ingots, everything um, seems to be working, well, the left half uh, is definitely working, we have a bunch of ingots, let's see how our production of ingots improve. So it used to be going up to 1.8 thousand, which is not really bad, and now it's going up to 4 thousand. With uh, half of it not even working, so this looks good. And yeah, I of course I forgot to connect this part. Let's very very quickly do that. Uh, like this. Okay, and now it should definitely work. Correct. So now both of these halves should be uh, working just fine. Nice. Let's take a break. Uh, thank you for following the series and um, watching this episode. This was episode 273. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!